Hey there, this is Northern Access, and today we're coming at you again with uh, a video to show how to uh, basically use your 9575 externally with your external antenna and the external antenna adapter so you can actually use the phone inside the vehicle. So let's say you're uh, out in a place like this where we're at, out in the mountains right now of, of uh, California. We're, uh, we got a lot of snow around us we got no cell signal whatsoever beautiful view so of course you don't want to have to you know stop pull over use your satellite phone uh, uh, inside so or outside so you uh, want to go ahead and um, get your phone ready to use inside if you need to make an emergency phone call let's say you get you know stuck in something let's say like this right here then you might want to need to call somebody so let's show you real quick first of all we got our 9575 already set out we got our external antenna adapter remember when you get the kit there's two external antenna adapters one is has the dongle which is the actual uh, this dongle here is the external antenna adapter the other one is just for power and data so uh, one of the main mistakes that people make is they put the adapter on before they take the seal on the bottom off you can see there the seal it's actually made so we can uh, uh, kind of attach it behind those little rubber uh, feet on the bottom you can go ahead and show them that and it just kind of stays there so at that point you can go ahead and attach it now with the uh, external antenna adapter you want to go from one side so go from right to left you hear it click in the same way to detach it you go from one side left right pulls it off again just like that easy now as far as the uh, magnetic mount antenna that you get with the kit you can see here that we've already attached ours it's real easy. It suctions right to the uh, to the uh, top of your car or truck, whatever vehicle you're using. If uh, if you need more slack, you can put it in a different area than we got it right now. But the reason we got it running right there is because you, if you can, you can run it in a place that basically has a spot where you can close the door and not have to worry about the wire or cable, uh, which you can kind of see right here. We basically have it uh, running through the uh, the crack of the door, which when we close the door is going to give, uh, it's not going to print the cable one bit. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go inside. We'll show how to adapt it. And we'll close the door. Well, actually we don't even need to close the door. You can see here that uh, where we have the cable again is right here between the the cracks of the rubber seals. Anywhere we can put it where the rubber seals are, it's not going to crimp the wire as much. A lot of people even like to just put it in the window and not roll the window up all the way uh, so they can have the most slack. So at this point we'll just go ahead and come around. Nice scenic view of the hills there. Now you got your external uh, antenna cable end. She's going to go ahead and mount that. You just screw it on like so. Very easy. And uh, we'll just go ahead and pretend like we're kind of uh, inside the car and, uh, and ready to make a phone call. Zoom in on it. So as you can tell, we don't have the uh, external antenna raised up. You see it registered right away. We don't have a huge amount of bars, but as long as you have two bars, usually you're pretty good to make a phone call. But uh, So let's go ahead and test out. We'll do the free test call which is uh, 
752-5105. I'm trying to see the signal there too. Looks like we still got two bars. As you uh, could see we're around me, actually, you know, it just jumped up to five, so we're good. Actually, you can hear there, it's making the phone call. I don't know if you saw how she did that to put it on speaker, but you just hit that options button right there. And then you can put it back to ear, so we can use it on your ear. Uh, hold call, end call, uh, of course, just to end the call. It's easy, you just hit the red button, but... Uh, Literally, that's how easy this is uh, as far as hooking it up so you can run this inside your vehicle. If you want to, uh, let's just, so we can kind of show them uh, how it looks inside the vehicle with the antenna and everything uh, closed. We'll run it. It's on the dashboard there. I'll come around here. Run the cable. There we go. You see, you close the door. Nothing holding up that antenna right there. You see the 9575 on the dashboard. Not exactly the clearest view I could, I would like to get because we got a reflection, of course, on the mountains. But uh, I don't know if you can see that there. But uh, looks like we still got five bars of signal on the. The top, nah, the reflection just makes it even worse. Anyhow, um, that's really how to do it. Simple as that. So again, uh, this is Northern Access showing you how to uh, use your uh, 9575 out in the middle of nowhere so you don't have to get out in an environment like this and freeze your butt off. Thanks again for uh, watching, and if you need any support at all, you can go to uh, northernaccess.com or call us at 877 two nine 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 three one and this is northern access and we're signing off